Hi guys, so today I have June's monthly makeup bag and I know last month I only posted June's monthly makeup bag and my love with food and unboxing lately. I feel like I want to change my content on YouTube a bit so I feel like I do want to put less content out there monthly uh, because I felt like for a while YouTube sort of felt like more work than for fun than and it's because I started my YouTube channel as more of a hobby and not like pretty much as more like work so to say so I feel like I do want to limit my content and probably I'll still do like my empties, my project pan, my monthly makeup bag but you might see less content from me only because I feel like I just want to figure out more of what I want to focus on on my channel but anyways, getting into my monthly makeup bag, I'm going to show you guys the makeup products I'm going to use for June, and I'll get into it. So there's, the first thing I have in my monthly makeup bag is my Scentsy's, uh, my Layers by Scentsy Body Spray in Luna, and this is my Project Pan, here's a spoiler, and now down to here, in April, I was up to here, so I've used a lot of this. This will be gone by the end of the summer, I feel like. And I'm happy about that. And that's my progress on this. It's also the body mist that I'm going to be using for the month. Then next, I've been using this on my face for my BB cream. And then I've been adding this in there to pretty much just get rid of it. And I realized I've been using this more to like illuminate my face. I've actually been using less highlighter since I've been mixing the two of these. But I've been using the e.l.f. BB cream in the light. This is also my project pan, and I've been using this NYX Born to Go Liquid Illuminator in Gleam. And I'm mixing the two of these together because this BB cream is a little too light for me right now, and this has just a little more color to it. And this I've been wanting to use up for a while. I've had it a while, I'm like down to here now, so I'm very happy with the progress on this and my BB cream. These two have been working good for me lately, and I'm happy with this combination. And for primer, I've been using this Temp2 primer. I feel like I don't like this Temp2 primer as much as I like the Touch and Soul one I used last. But I'm making progress on this. This is the Base Smooth Matte Primer. This I got in an Ipsy bag. It's like halfway done right now. You can see like here. Well, you can't really see. But this, probably another month or two, this will be used up. I don't like the bottle because I feel like it's hard to get the product out sometimes. But I'll be happy when I finish this, I feel like. Then next for powder, I'm happy to tell you guys I finished my Besame Lavender Brightening Powder and I've moved on to the Besame Brightening Vanilla Rose Powder in Translucent. So I finished off the Lavender one and I was happy. I mean I really like the Lavender one but I was happy to move on to a new powder. Then next for my setting spray, this is also in my project pan. This is the ColourPop Aventurine Crystal Setting Spray. I was up to here in April, and now I'm down to here for June. Today is the 1st of June while I'm filming this. So I'm down to here. I feel like this will be another product that will be done by the end of the summer as well. So I'm happy because I feel like a lot of my Project Pan items are actually going. And I feel like I'm going to get a decent amount of them used up. I don't know if I'm going to get all of them used up, but I'll get a decent amount of them used up. And I will tell you guys too that yesterday I finished off my Bite Lip Crayon in my project pan in Glace or Glace, I'm not exactly sure how to say it, but I finished it off so that's actually completely done now too and I was happy that I finished that off and for mascara, I'm still using the Tarte Lifted mascara, this is a sample size, I got it in an Ipsy bag and this so far has worked okay for my lashes, it hasn't been bad I don't think I like it as much as the Juice Max Lash, Max Lash mascara I was using but this does get the job done and it's not bad on my lashes and for blush I only picked one I chose the Too Faced Papadome Peach blush and I feel like this is a nice like summer color and I like this a lot and I like pretty much it's nice when I just grab one item and then it's just like okay I only have one choice I'm not sitting here for like 10 minutes trying to figure out which one I want to use, so I limited my options down to one choice this month, and I'm happy with this one. So I have another Project Pan spoiler. Here is my e.l.f. eye primer. I have this much left. This will probably be done by the end of the summer as well, but I only have a little bit of product left in this, and I'm happy about it. I still haven't really used the liner sealer side, 
but I've been using this as my primer and I'll be happy to be done with it. I just feel like it's very heavy on my eyes and I don't like that. And I want to move on to a lighter primer after I finish this. I don't know if I'll keep the liner sealer side only because I've had this product a while. So I feel like this does work, but I don't know if I would keep the sealer side when I finish this product. The next for bronzer, I threw in my sample size of the Too Faced chocolate, Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I figured I'd throw this in for bronzer if I wanted bronze, even though I don't really bronze my face that much. But I figured I'd give myself the option, so I threw this in there. And next for concealer, I'm still working on my Tristy Concealer in Porcelain. This is a mini concealer crayon. There's only a little bit left. I just want to finish this. I really like this. I probably will buy a full size when I finish it. But I have this much left. And I got this in an Ipsy bag. This is like a sample size. And I feel like right now I could still use it. It's still not too light for me, but soon it will be. And I want to finish it up before then and then probably purchase a new one of these around the fall or winter in a full size. Next for highlighter, I chose my City Color Highlight Trio, and this has three different colors in it, and I like that I have a couple different options if I want to use different ones, and I feel like I haven't been using highlighter that often since I've been using the NYX product of the BB Cream lately, but I figured I'd throw this in there just in case I want to use some highlighter. Then next for eyebrows, I've been using my e.l.f. Wax Pencil. And this is almost done, and actually it's funny because it's almost perfect timing to be almost done because I've been using it with Semi Sweet, my Too Faced Chocolate Chip Palette, and that's almost just about gone. There's just one tiny little corner over here. I don't know if you guys could see that, but it's only like maybe a week's worth left of product. And I put more pan, uh, Matt Morsey pan and white chocolate. And I still have a nice dip going in Matt Hazelnut. So I feel like this side of the palette is well loved and this side is still barely touched. But I've been working on using this side a little more. So I've been using a little bit of these here and there. And since I know I only have maybe like most a week's worth of semi sweet left, I'm finally throwing in my Tristique Eyebrow Pencil in Americano. It's in my project pan. I'm going to tell you guys, I use this once or twice already, and I don't like how hard this pencil is. It's... I don't like how hard this crayon is. It's just, I feel like it doesn't really go on my brows very well, and I do want to work on trying to finish this off. This is like a sample size, so there's not much product in it, but I feel like this is one I'm probably not going to enjoy, and I might end up decluttering if it doesn't work out for me. Then next I have eyeliners. I have four. One of them I'm just about done with. This is in my project pan as well. This is the Arrow Bright Now eyeliner and this is waterproof and this is how much is left. It's a tiny bit. I actually have been struggling trying to sharpen it and I'm gonna have to sharpen it very soon. So I feel like maybe after one more sharpen, if I can sharpen, sharpen this anymore, then this will be done. Then I chose two ColourPop eyeliners, and I chose a sample of the Tarte Sex Kitten eyeliner. This I got in an Ipsy bag. There's not that much product in it. I figure maybe if I use it like a month or two, I probably can use this up. That's all the product that's in it. Oh, this is a black eyeliner. And then ColourPop, I chose Zulu, which is like a seafoam green. Then I chose Mr. Bing, which is like a warm brown eyeliner, and those are the eyeliners that I chose. So the Arrow one probably will only use me like one more use or two, and then this will be done as well. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to sharpen this. I feel like I struggled last time really trying to sharpen this. Then next I have lip products, and pretty much I have the lip balm that's in my project pan. This is the Rimmel Kate Moss lip balm, and I only have this much left. And I'm happy because this, I know just by the progress I've made during the year, I will finish by the end of the year. And this is just pretty much lip balm I just like using under lipstick. I don't use it as regular lip balm because for me as a regular lip balm, I have other ones that are better. Then I have the other three lip products that are in my project pan. I have one more, but I'm saving that for the fall. I chose my NYX with Foyette. 
uh, and cocoa bean. So I threw this in my monthly makeup bag. And this I used a couple times last month. I was really focusing on glacé and finishing that. Probably next, I'm really going to focus in on these two. But I have the NYX product here. This could be used on the cheeks or the lips, but I like just using it on my lips. And then today I put this on my lips. And this is the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Liquefied Metallic Lipstick in chocolate, <laughs> Metallic Chocolate Diamonds. And this has a lot of glitter in it. I don't know how I really feel about this, but I put it on my lips today. And I'm going to see how far I could get with this. This might be one of the products that I'm worried I'm not going to finish by the end of the year. Or I might just end up decluttering. Figuring which probably it will be. And then I have my e.l.f. lip liner in nude pink. That's the brush side. It's <laughs> the brush side. And pretty much this I've been using here or there, but I don't want to use it more. So I'm going to try to use this more this month. And next I have single eyeshadows. I have a powder single eyeshadow. This is Milani Bella Eyes and Bella Cobalt. And this is a satin matte. And this is like a pretty blue color. And I chose this as a single. And then I chose for my other eyeshadow. So this is like a cream eyeshadow. I chose the e.l.f. eyeshadow and I believe this is toasted. Oh, this is toast. So I chose toast. This is like a gold color. I figure it would be nice for summer. And this is a cream eyeshadow. This is one of their long-lasting lustrous eyeshadows. And last, I have the eyeshadow palettes I'll be using this month. Normally I do one week one palette. I showed you guys my progress on um, my Too Faced Matte Chocolate Chip palette. Normally I pulled this in if I need like a matte color or a base color or something like that. So this is like my all matte palette. I just pull in with my other palettes if I don't have a color. And this is my project pan. So I've been trying to get the shades that are in my project pan. So I have two that are in my project pan. I'm trying to get more progress on them. Then next for one week one palette, I chose a Specifica Island Life eyeshadow palette, and this I do like. I feel like it has a lot of nice summer colors. This you have a nice gold, you have like a peach, you have nice browns, and then you have this like highlight type of shade. And then I chose my Elf Prism eyeshadow in Naked. And this has like a lot of nice shimmery nudes. Instead of choosing my singles from my pretty much normally I'll choose like five or six singles, I decided to throw in my e.l.f. brights palette that I potted and it's in a Z palette as you guys can see. And then these three were LA Colors eyeshadows and a super natural eyeshadow and I just poked my eye. Don't mind that, but these pretty much I depotted and decluttered from an e.l.f. eyeshadow palette that I had a really long time. And I want to use these, see which ones work for me and which ones don't, try to declutter more of these, I feel like. So I'm throwing this in my monthly makeup bag in the place of my single eyeshadows just for this month. And last, for my high-end palette, because normally I choose a high-end palette. Uh, when I was looking through my eyeshadows, I feel like I haven't picked this one up in a while. So I chose my Too Faced Semi-Sweet chocolate bar palette and I really do like this eyeshadow palette I just feel like I haven't picked it up as much I feel like I'm gonna enjoy using this again and pretty much that's everything for June's monthly makeup bag I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon in my next video bye